Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jack. I'm the founder here at Cenarius. We're an e-commerce growth agency that helps brands scale. If you're an e-commerce brand and want to learn a little bit more about how you can work with us, I'm going to leave a relevant link in the description. In this week's video, I'm going to show you and walk you through how you can split test your homepage on your Shopify store. I'm going to show you the app we use and I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a split test so you can go ahead and create one right away. Now, why is it useful to split test your Shopify homepage? Split testing things on your website is the primary driver of improving your overall conversion rate. And what split tests allow you to do is take the guesswork out of, you know, making changes and hoping for the best in terms of improving your conversion rate. And by split testing things, you'll be able to see definitively which one is performing better, if any. Okay, so this is the app that we use for our clients. It's called Neat, Neat AB Testing. It's pretty simple and straightforward to use. It is $29 a month and you get a 14 day free trial. By the way, this app not only allows you to test things on your Shopify homepage, but you can do other split tests like testing your price, testing your product page, etc. But I'm gonna be walking you through specifically how to create a split test on your homepage. So the first thing that you want to do once you've installed the app is go to your themes. And this is just an example um, brand. So what you want to do is duplicate your theme. Uh, and once you have the duplicate, you want to click on customize. So what we want to essentially do is create the two sections that we want to test. And the neat AB testing app is going to automatically send a percentage of the traffic to one version and a percentage of the traffic to another version. And it's going to give you the statistics and data on the overall revenue that you're generating, the conversion rate, the average order value, etc., to see which version is essentially better for you or which version is the winner out of that test. Okay. So, what things that you can test are your banner, uh, pretty much any section on your homepage you can duplicate and test. One test that you can try is, um, last in last week's video, we talked about the importance of the average order value. Um, one thing you can try is to, in one version of your Shopify homepage, have the best sellers and in another version to have your bundles. And you can see how the average order value and the overall conversion rate respond to that. So let's say you wanna test um, that exact thing. So we have our best sellers here. We want to create another section with just our bundles and we want to see how people respond. So all you want to do is create a new section here. Featured collection. And you're just going to choose the collection that you want. So um, in this case, we would have our bundles. We don't have a specific collection for the bundles with this brand, but uh, let's just say this one, um, we're going to select it. You can obviously edit it as normal. Um, and then the, you have both sections here on uh, on your homepage. Now, one thing you want to keep note of is just the names of the sections. So you want to make sure you keep note of the two sections that you want to test, and then you want to save. Now, once you've done that, you want to go to the neat AB testing app, and you essentially want to create the test. So you're going to click click create the test here. And the test that we want is the homepage test here. So test visual changes to your homepage, create test. You can name your test here. In this case, we're testing bundles versus bestsellers. And you want to pick the theme that you've just made that you, you've just made edits to. So um, this is the copy that we created. And then you'll see the, the sections that you want to test right here. The one that we created to test um, is going to be the feature, featured collection right here. So once we've clicked that, so once we've clicked the two sections that we want to test, which is the best sellers versus the featured collection that we've just added, which is one of them is the best sellers and the other one is going to be the bundles. Um, we can choose the audience split. So obviously we can choose what percentage of the audience sees one version versus the other to make it a fair test. You would just click 50% and then you can schedule it and you can start your test. Once you've started your test and you have some data running, the app will automatically tell you what, um, what version is producing more revenue, what's the overall conversion rate, and you'll be able to kind of systematically test your homepage and figure out what's working and what isn't. So now you can go ahead and split test your Shopify homepage. One thing I will mention is make sure you actually have some traffic coming through the site before you start split testing. If you only have a few hundred people visiting your site with very minimal orders, your, your, your efforts are best placed somewhere else like customer acquisition. And then once you have the ball rolling, that's when you want to start split testing things on your website. 
The example test we did show was testing, as I said, the bundles versus the best sellers, but you can test a lot of things on your homepage. And with that same app, you can test your product page, prices, etc. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Again, split testing is really, really important, especially as you start scaling. The difference between one version and the second version of your website can make a dramatic difference in the overall revenue that you're generating and the overall conversion rate that you have on your website. If you did enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you guys in the next one.